was having a think about Halloween and remembered a large spider that I needle felted about six years ago. Hello. I'd felted this big spider to have a play around with animation. It was a bit of an experiment, so he's not great. And he's got a very odd mouth. I'm not sure what I was thinking there. Anyway, I thought I'd show you how I made this much simpler and smaller spider this time. Hang around to the end to see a short bit of animation with one of these spiders. First, I made the legs using a 30 centimeter or almost 12 inch long black 6 millimeter diameter chenille stem or pipe cleaner. I folded it in half and then half again to cut the chenille into four lengths, each about seven and a half centimeters or three inches long. Then I folded over the ends of the wires just so that there's no sharp ends. I folded the ends over on three of the lengths a little bit more than the fourth one to make this the longest one. This is because you're going to use the fourth one to wrap around the middle of the other three, which will hold them all together. So it needs to be a tiny bit longer. Even so, you might have two shorter legs, which is fine. They can be positioned at the front or the back of the spider. Then wrap some black merino roving or tops wool around the center of the spider's legs. Carefully stab this in to form the body. Stab gently though, as there's a lot of wire in there and you don't want to break your needle. I'm using a 40 gauge needle at this stage. So I'm angling my needle so that I'm stabbing across the wool rather than down into the body where the wires are while I'm also making sure I'm using my needle angle to get the body into the nice round shape. I added several lots of wool winding it round in between each of the legs to spread it out evenly. Then I rolled up a piece of black wool and added it to the top of the body to make the top half slightly bigger than under the legs. So keep rotating the spider and stabbing all the way around until you're happy with the shape of the body. This project was really quick to do. It took me just under an hour to make one of these spiders from start to finish, which as you probably know is not long for a needle felted project. Once you're happy with the size and shape of the body, you can go over it with a 42 gauge needle. This will help reduce the fuzz. You might want to watch my video on how to get a smooth finish. I'll put a link in the description below. So as you can see, I'm angling my needle at about 45 degrees to the surface to catch any stray bits. Next for the eyes, I rolled up two tiny pieces of bright white wool to check that they're the same size. I really like this bright white merino tops wool that I got from Heidi Feathers. I'll put a link to that in the description as well. Once I've rolled it up and started stabbing, I realised the eyes were going to be a bit small, so I added a bit more white to each one to make sure they come out the same size. Stab the white wool into a small ball on the mat for a while. These eyes are going to stand out a bit, so don't worry if you have a ball rather than a flat white area. Then shape them further as you attach them by stabbing around the edge of the white and stabbing into the body right next to each other. If you find this video helpful, please click the like button. Let me know in the comments what you'd like to needle felt for Halloween. Or perhaps you've needle felted something already. I'd love to hear about it. Anyway, then I got a really tiny piece of black merino roving wool and split it into two. Again, rolling it between your fingers to feel whether they're the same size. Rolling it like this also makes spelting easier. Notice how I'm angling my needle to guide the black wool in the direction I want it to go, making the pupil a nice round dot. I like to position them so they're looking up slightly, but you can position the pupil wherever. Next, trim any stray strands of wool from around the body and the eyes. You might want to leave them dangling from some nylon invisible thread around the house for Halloween. What you been up to lately, Fred? Oh, you know, just hanging around. If you're struggling to needle felt tiny neat eyes like these, then you'll want to watch this video next, where I share with you my best tips on needle felting eyes, mouths and other face details. Oh yes, and here's that new bit of animation I promised. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching. Bye.